Saving the planet through advanced science. Next on livinggreenchannel.com. Hey everyone, I'm Elizabeth Chambers and you're watching livinggreenchannel.com, your online video source for living an eco-friendly lifestyle. Now during the Olympics, the Chinese government promised and delivered a rain-free opening ceremony to the delight of thousands in attendance and millions watching around the world. During the rainy season, how did they do this? It's simple. They seeded the storm clouds with iodide before they blew into the capital city, causing the rain to fall long before they reached Beijing. Sound extreme? Well, when it comes to technology triumphing over climate, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Welcome to the 21st century, and welcome to one of the hottest environmental debates about the planet right now, geoengineering. Geoengineering is defined as the deliberate modification of Earth's environment on a large scale to quote, suit human needs and promote habitability. Many geoengineering ideas sound like plots straight from 60s sci-fi films, such as launching mirrors into orbit to reflect the sun's rays away from the Earth to seeding the ocean with iron oxide to decrease greenhouse gases. Now that a vast majority of the scientific community has agreed that global warming does in fact exist, one geoengineering idea that has begun gaining widespread acceptance and also gaining detractors is launching tons of sulfur dioxide into the Earth's upper atmosphere. The sulfur dioxide, once in the Earth's upper atmosphere, will cause a chemical reaction that will partially deflect the sun's rays, effectively and immediately halting global warming. This idea was first proposed in 1965 by President Lyndon Johnson's Science Advisory Committee, which offered one solution to climate change, reflect sunlight away from the Earth. While sulfur dioxide is seen as an approach that would have an immediate impact on global warming, it also has drawbacks that cause many to see this method as a last resort. Estimates show that it would cost $1 billion to launch the sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, and depending on the altitude, it would only last one to two years before it would need to be reintroduced. Additionally, potentially harmful side effects could result, such as acid rain and other unforeseen complications by messing with a complex ecosystem. While both sides debating the positive and potentially negative effects of geoengineering if the Earth keeps warming at the current levels, it may become our only option. This has been Elizabeth Chambers for livinggreenchannel.com with your eco-friendly update. Bye. <laughs>